Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games of Dialogue plays Pillars of Eternity 2, The Forgotten Sanctum. This is episode 80 of the playthrough. I'm still in the Forgotten Sanctum, but we're now inside the body of a god. So, who knows what awaits us inside. Giant, mutated parasites? Um, misguided hands of the occult members? That's just two guesses. I don't know. Let's go. Alright, as you might remember, we finally got through the upper bowels, cleared the passage to the, the depths. So let's go in. Just remember, if you die horribly, I... The shaft descends into the depths of Wall's misshapen body. Though the acidic scent of bile plagues the chamber, the canal seems safe enough to descend. For the moment. We'll descend, of course. The smooth sides of the shaft remain slick with bile, and it descends for as far as you can see. You doubt there's any climbing back up this hole. It's a one-way trip down. Crap, really? And I forgot to go, ah. I forgot to go bring that stuff back, the, the star metal back to, um, what's her face? I'm gonna do that. And then we'll continue, because if it's a one-way trip, I don't want to miss out on something I sacrificed a pet for. I remember you. Give Bakarna the star medal. Will this work as a celestial catalyst? Bakarna gingerly accepts the rock, turning it over to study its pitted surface. Her eyes are wide. She doesn't tremble in the slightest. This is the one. Stand back, Watcher. I have waited so long for this moment. Not even gratitude will slow me down. Stealing herself, Bacarna spreads her feet apart and raises her wand to the sky. Yes? A breeze you don't feel ruffles Bacarna's robes and stirs her hair. She opens her eyes, and a smile slowly forms on her lips. A moment, Watcher. I doubt I could forget the words if I lived to be a thousand, but let me write them down where they belong. She flips open her grimoire and begins to pen some runes in a sweeping, elegant script. There. Becarna's Midnight Daydream. Not a bad ring to it, huh? She folds the book. Holds the book shut? And sighs. Keep this uh, as a memento, my friend. A nice statement piece for the dinner table. That hum of power is relaxing in the palm of your hand, no? Bakarna kisses her fingers and touches them to the star medal before passing it on to you. And that gives me... Probably a trinket. Um... I'll let you read that. Let's see. Combat only, one per rest... Summons three servants of the stars. Whenever one of the spirits is killed, the wielder receives a random inspiration. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? What am I going to give that to? Hmm. Bacarna's Midnight Daydream. What does it do? Do you feel any different now that you've scribed a spell? I didn't help you for souvenirs. I want a copy of that spell. I guess I'm off. Congratulations, Bacarna. Well, I definitely want three, but... Yeah. As you say. Bacarna holds your gaze and nods. I happened upon this friendly looking book while you were out looking for the star metal. And here there is a blank page like it was waiting for us. She winks up at you. May you do great things with it. She passes you the grimoire and blushes. And I got a grimoire too? Why can't I? Come on. Right click. Oh well. We'll Thanks do it later. To you, I have remembered much. And learned more than I could ever forget. A Grasimer Watcher. This would have been extremely unlikely without good friends. Bacarna spares you a brief smile before flipping open her grimoire to study the words she wrote. I knew I only got one choice with that conversation. I'm glad I picked Give Me a Copy. Um, let's see here. I think I want to use Drowsy Puke. What you want, Grand Stink? I'd like to rest. 
Give me... How much money do I got? I got plenty. Uh, resistance to resolve, intelligence, health, or will. Something tells me... I'm not out of the woods of spells yet, but at the same time, I want resistance to affliction. Uh, I'll take the plus 10 will. Okay, let's see what that grimoire gives me. Celestial grimoire fleet feet. Infused with vital essence. Nah. Uh, Lundgrath safeguard. Um, Essential phantom and substantial phantom? Bacarna's Midnight Daydream. There it is. A bolt of celestial energies bounces between allies, granting them random inspirations. That's nice. Maybe not great, but that's nice. I do get a couple of good ones. What's this? Strips all beneficial effects on those in the air. Oh. Yes! That's better than that arcane dampener one that... I've been using. Alright, I'm giving that to, uh... What's it replacing, though? That's the thing. I like that one. Hmm. We'll replace this one? Nope. Like that. Petrification, Cloak of Death. Ah, we lose the Salvo, but that's alright. And then who do I want to give the Trinket to? I'll, I'll replace this one with the... There we go. Piece of star metal. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. I hope that's fine. Do I want... Resistance to perception afflictions. You know what? I'm going to replace that with the... There we go. Okay. Let's head back to... Alright, here we are. And down we go. I've read this already... That's a one-way trip. Descend. Failure? You're kidding me! Despite every attempt to lower yourself carefully down the drainage duct, your hand slips out from under you, and you lose your footing. You plummet through the vile darkness. You gotta be kidding me. Ah. You recognize the familiar robes of Phion. His back to you, arms outstretched to either side as he channels the incredible reserv reserves of ambient essence at the heart of Wall's Titan. There we are, friend. Open up now and receive me. Wow, what happened to his face? Uh, Phion, we can shout it. Didn't I turn you into worms? That's... Are you trying to get us all killed? I'm looking forward to slicing you into little wizard bits. Or wait and observe. Um, I'll shout his name. The Archmage spins on you. Unmasked, the elf's features seem half smeared away, as if by the hand of a sculptor. Watcher of Cadnua, Herald of Bereth, Dusk Speaker. Well, that last one's a little iffy. I'm afraid that we, that I, cannot allow you to interfere. We've come entirely too close to turn away now. You're close to what, exactly? What are you trying to accomplish? How did you know those titles? Insight. Thank you. Listen to yourself. You're losing your identity. You're being subsumed into whatever that is. Or I can attack him. Let's do insight, since it's one of the few skills I managed to hit. I was forgetting myself long before I entered the Titan. But through the Titan, I can restore me. Communion. Like a leaf held to a flame, his smile curls at both ends. Commun- like, see? Ugh, arcana and metaphysics I was never gonna hit. Communion? All of the knowledge in these halls. All of the memories. It all descends. 
flowing into this titanic form. The me, too, that we were before. I feel it there, pulsing like a heart. I can't let you do this. We can help you, Fion, but not if you lose yourself. I'll do that one. It's your story that ends here, I'm afraid. And none shall remember it. Come on, man. I come in peace. What? Where is all this hostility coming from? You recall everything. Everything we've ever known. Everything we've never known. The wizard's thoughts echo among your own, pounding against your mind like an ogre against a closed gate. We recall young Fionnledge, promising apprentice of the Sheathwood. Indomitable Fionnledge, the arcane knight. Fionnledge, the unspoiled, archmage of the circle. Fionnledge, wake of the hand occult. Oh, so he did work for them. Okay. The names, titles, and memories, and the emotions that accompany each break upon you like the shore. Never heard of you. History I'm bummed about. That's super bumming, but I wasn't putting points into it nearly as much as I should. Oh, you're that, Fionn Ledge. Why didn't you say so before? Never heard of you. All knew us for the spells that bore our name, if nothing else. Fionn Ledge's wall of flames. Fionn Ledge's wall of many colors. Fionn Ledge's pristine barrier. So how did the Hand of Cult get involved? Very impressive. So what happens to bring low such an illustrious personage? So wall stuff, mostly. And then Arcana and Wizard. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So very impressive. We... I... I joined the Hand of Cult. Served well, faithfully, and became initiated into ever deeper circles of revelation. They appointed me Wake, the High Magician, Seer, and Arcanist. That's when we, when I, uncover the truth. You hold it too. We see it. The secret shining in your mind. The great lie. A star set within a blank firmament. The gods are false. We will not be silenced. Well, will not bury us as they did the ones who came before. What do you mean, those who came before? The great lie? None of this matters. I can't let you have the Titan. Uh, what do you mean, those who came before? You don't believe the Anguithans were first, do you? Or alone? You already know of the Huan. There were others. Anguith established global influence, not eternal dominion. We cannot allow your egress. Too many secrets taint you as they tainted Fion Ledge. You must be purified. Oh, come on! The creature rises. Well, fine. Have it your way. Have we not initiated combat yet? Excellent. Let's uh, pause. Did we pause? Yes, we paused. Let's uh, F5. And then let's maneuver into position. Uh, I can't see what he's resistant to. So I can't prep my weapons. I'll just go with what I've got. Um, I'll come around this way. Grog, you come around this way. Trinket. Trinket, come help me. Why don't you? Uh, she's got her scepter, so she'll come over here. Let's see. I am going to put... If I can, I am going to put the bow back on. Okay, good. And fine. So you will come over here with Trinket. And then Gilmore. Gilmore, I'm going to put you over here by Pike. And break. Wait, why is Trinket not moving? Trinket! Trinket, get in there! There we go. Alright, here we go. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Um, let's lay down some defense. 
Well, I'm too I'm too far away. Can I get over? Can I get over here? You know what? I'm just gonna make her have a melee weapon so she gets close. And then there we go, defense. And then these vision people. Ah, bugger. They're not resistant to ice, though. He is. Of course he is. He's also immune to a bunch of afflictions, so that's going to be wonderful. All right, you know what? Grog, you're not locked in yet, so you take this. And we'll have Trinket take this. There we go. All right, let's cast... Um, where's that one that... Bonded Fury, there we go. And we'll have Gilmore cast... Uh, we'll have Gilmuller cast his, um, Phantom. There we go. And me. I don't know why I'm not attacking. Alright. Eight piercing. Fire, ice, electricity, and corrosion. So, crushing and slashing will be fine with. What do I got here? Slashing. Alright. And you? Slashing and piercing. Alright. Your bow is not going to do me any good. But, thankfully, I've got these two-handed weapons. Okay. Uh, hammer's crushing, I'm sure. And what are you using? Piercing. Okay, that's going to be a problem. I don't want to switch you over to the hammer. Because you'll be in melee range. But maybe I have to. Alright. Um... Attempt to block incoming weapon attacks, successfully resisting the attack at the cost of recovery time. Yeah. I'll activate the shield. Sure. Wait. That's medium, right? Is that medium? It is. Okay. Yeah. So, once you're done... No, no, no! Cast the spell! Cast the spell! Oh, man. That was dumb. That was dumb. Alright, Pike. Give me some help here. What can we do? In, uh, inspirations within the area. Yeah, these guys all need it. Uh, paralyzed, right? That's what that symbol means? Great. Fantastic. Oh god, he's got the death ray. That's not good. He's got the death ray. He's gonna need to reflect. Which one was it? That's Torn of Flames. Where's the reflect? There it is. Lengrath's reflection. There we go. There we go. Great. Okay, let's get another pike buff going. Might bonus and accuracy. That'll help everybody here. Alright, you know what? I need to lay down some... Blast of Divine Light drops. The light heals all nearby allies. Burns enemy vests. That's not going to help. Um, let's do Shared Flames. Even though he's resistant to flames. You know what? I cancelled it because I tried to move. There we go. Um, Grog? Wait, are these targetable? Arcane Channel? Grog, take that one out for me and... I'll have... Right between the eyes. Grog, why are you not moving? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Why are you not moving? Why is he not moving? Grog! Grog! I need you to move! Come on! Buddy! Buddy! Alright, you know what? Just do your lightning bolt. Can I hit both of them? No, but what's this over here? What am I hitting? Doesn't matter. Have some of this. Come on, did that hurt? That's probably the only time I'm going to hear Grog use a spell. That was pretty cool. I'm glad they put that in the game. Uh, alright. He's in trouble. Um, I guess I can heal. I need Pike to do... I'm going to have Pike do a ground regeneration. Alright, Grog, I need you to kill this guy. Yeah. You know what? Uh, let's do... Hobbling Shot, or... I don't think Concussive Tranquilizer is going to work on the Oracle of Whale, so let's do... 
What do I want to do? Let's do marked. I prefer. Yeah, let's do marked. You might want to there we go. I can't find a weak spot. All right, pause, pause. Can you heal? Oh, he's not under my control anymore. What happened? Why are you charmed? Because of the wall of many colors. Well, that sucks. That sucks big time. But we can still do... Hmm. Where's the one that reduces durations of negative... Alright, there we go. Negative effect reduce reduction. There we go. Why am I... <laughs> Why am I so easily charmed? Alright, let's heal the bear. Heal the bear. There we go. Is he dead now? Good. Soul mirror. You know what, Vex? I need you to... Hmm. Vex, come over here. And take out these arcane channels. Uh, Grog's fine. More than fine. Alright, Grog's more than fine. I'm gonna use... Healing Potion? Um... I'm gonna use this so that I'm not subjected to any more... And then... This on all three of us. There we go. Gilmore, I haven't been using you nearly enough. Let's use... Wall of Force? No... Delayed Fireball? No. Webbing. Wilting Wind does raw damage. I'm gonna do that. Uh, that arcane thing right behind you. Am I hitting any of my allies? No, but if I do that, I can hit everything. Okay. Oh, crap. Paralyzed. Trinket is going down. Can I get Trinket out of there? Grog. Thank you. Alright, let's have you leap over here to speed things up. <laughs> oh, man. I love that barbarian. Let's get you out of here, Trinket. Get you out of here. Okay. Um, still attacking this. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop myself from dying there. Yeah. Well... I think Trinket's going down. I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Oh, did that hurt? This one wants to be difficult. We can deal with that. Alright. Is there another... We'll take on this one. Okay. Uh, Pike, I need you to heal again. Let's heal these three. It's just the three of us now. I should actually swap where Targris is so that his bonuses are applying to Gilmore. I think Gilmore's too far away. Can I move him there? I can. All right. But he took an engagement attack. Dang it! That was dumb. That was just dumb. I, I don't know why I did that. All right, let's heal again. Gilmore. And... I need another heal here. What's a good one? Um, I'll do this one. Sure. Can I reach? I can reach everybody. Excellent. Uh, these robes I always hit my Great. Fantastic. Don't... That... Ugh, blind is not going to work on him. Blind is not going to work. Let's lay down a wall of fire. That sounds like fun. I've had a few too many close calls. Oh, down he goes. Holy crap. I just realized I'm fighting a beholder. Oh, no. Three beams? Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Am I supposed to be damaging these arcane channels? Am I supposed to be? Okay, all right, all right, Gilmore's down. I can get him up, I can get him up. Reviving, there we go. And we'll use another healing 
I just don't remember which one. They received the effects of barring death's door and nearby allies are healed. Actually, yeah, let's use that one and I'll replace what I'm using with uh, healing hands. There we go. Not out of the fight yet. You're going down. Target destroyed. Trinket. Excellent. Let's let's attack this one. And have Vex come over here and help out. Okay, Pike's down as well. This is not going to end well for me. Pike, I need you up. Okay, Pike. Use, where was it, this one? Yeah. And I need to heal myself. Okay, that's broken. You two, keep him busy. Grog, get over here. I need you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're all up. This is good. This is fine. Let's use the AOE heal. Am I? Yeah. Regenerating. Okay. Good. Okay. Suppress afflictions. I don't need that. User and their allies become shrouded by the eye of Rimguard, granting them veil touch. They take less damage from and can't be critically hit by attacks without the veil piercing keyword. Keyword. Using it. Might as well. This is getting us nowhere. That might actually protect me. Right beside you. Come on, use it. Use it! Come on! Um, he, he used it. Excellent. Okay. That should protect me. I'm hoping that'll protect me. At least for a little while. Did everybody get that? Or just the three closest to him? I don't see it on Grog. So it was just these three. Okay. Alright, Gilmore. Um, you've got a bunch of elemental stuff. But nothing that's really going to help here. Uh, I'm going to do Wall of Fire again, but I want it to get... There. There we go. Don't put a dent in. I kick your ass! You sure you're aiming right? By the use of my legs! <laughs> Oracle of Whale knocked out Trinket. That sucks. I've got an arrow with your name on it. I can bring him back. I just don't know if I... Yeah, we'll bring him back. I brought him back right into the... I should have let the beam expire first. That was dumb. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, what's happening? Somebody's... Oh, these little nodes. If they pop... A specter, huh? Well, I can... I can deal with that. That'll be easy. How do you like that? Don't put a dent in it. And... That's going to explode. Oh, God. Pause. That's going to explode. Get away from there. Too late. I saw it too late. Ah, okay. Well, I've got healing still. Let's um, keep Pike up. The bear. Got to go back over here. Go for the eyes, Trinket. Right. Um, teleport attack to target. I don't need to worry about. Absorbing the defenses of all enemies in the air. Oh, I'll, maybe that'll be useful. Let's find out. <laughs> and then you need a spell. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I'm going to have you try to cast Wilting Wind again on him. Out of range of everybody else. Okay, go for it. Never mind. Not happening. Pike, what are you doing? Pike, what are you doing? Pike, what are you doing? Oh my god, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. Heal, Pike. Heal. Okay, alright. She's up. Oh, Pike, what are you doing to me? Uh, restoring health and reducing duration of negative effect. No, I don't need that one. I need this one. Bring Gilmore back. 
Trinket. Trinket, I wanted you to come back over here and save. Oh well. Never mind. We got knocked out again. How much further is... He's only bloodied. I don't know what this arcane channel is supposed to do. Is it supposed to help me? Because he seems to be getting more deadly as we go. I can't find a weak spot. This is not good. I'm all out of empowers. One per encounter. Um... And I'm all out of... Uh, it's just... Alright, do I have anything... I can summon a siren. Might as well. At this point. Seem to move. Gilmore, you're petrified. Already there. All right, Pike. Let's do. Let's do this one. Who's still up that you can actually? Wait, is that Gilmore? Oh yeah, he's dominated. Um, I don't think I have... I don't have anything that's going to knock him out of domination. I do have this, though. That's Soul Mirror. Ay. What about Sworn Rival? Why have I... I don't think I've used that once. Let's do... Hmm... Hmm. That causes freezing damage. That'll get rid of spirits and vessels. Is that what this is? I don't think this is a spirit or vessel, but we can try it. No. I was wrong. Well, I haven't cast it yet. Okay. Uh, let's have the Siren attack the Scavenger. Sure. What happened? Hits Soul Mirror. What happened there? Did Gilmore drop again? Not yet. Not yet. But he is still... He's petrified now. Great. Oh, this is getting too close. Alright, let's use that horn. Pike... Pike, I need you to heal. I so desperately need you to heal. Um, everybody, please, please get this off before we all die. I can't find a weak spot. Get it out, get it out. Targris, you've got plenty of healing. You're paralyzed. Well, heal yourself if you can, if possible. Did you cast the spell? She did. It didn't really matter. Uh, all right. Okay. Um power doesn't heal this protection. What about this one? No, that's not going to help. Random inspirations. Uh Oh, I'm so desperate right now. Um, I'll use this one. Nobody, it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. What about aiming this? I can't find a weak spot. I'm stuck. Well, he's got one freaking hit point. He's He's so going down. There's nothing I can do to save him. And I don't have any healing. Okay, well, I might lose Gilmore here. This, and he's still bloodied. He's still only bloodied. Let me show you the this is getting us nowhere. Still only one hit point. All right, you know what? I'm using it. Empower, so I can at least get these guys up. You know what? Why have I not switched to the two-handed? 
she's much better in melee range with a melee weapon. Let's heal. And then do it again. There we go. Um, I'm gonna do the rejuvenation. What happened? Knocked out Gilmore. Ah, oh, well, that's three for him. I'm not getting him up again. He'll have to stay down. I'm here for you. Okay, this is not good. I need petrifying enemies. I need to petrify everything I can get. Because... She needs to get out of that wall. I don't think so. Alright, Grog's doing his thing. I can just leave him alone. Pike. Pike, now's a good time for that. Don't put a dent in it. I'll protect you. Trinket's just sitting there. <laughs> he's at full health and he's not doing anything. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Let's do... I need something that will affect the enemy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. There we go. I used that already. That's not gonna help any. Um... This is getting us nowhere. Okay. Is she confused? She's confused. Well, as long as she's not attacking me. He's near death. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trinket. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. This is my favorite part. I wish I knew how near death near death was. Did Trinket drop again? Yeah, character death trinket. Leaving you here to die. I always hit my mark. All right, you know what, Pike? As fun as this is, I need you to use. Well, I'll save that for a heal if possible. This only heals. Burns enemies caught in the ray. Um. Yeah. All right. I don't think burning is going to do much. No, I'm not doing much damage to him. Let's heal. Here we go. Holy crap, Pike, get out. Get out while you still can. I need you alive. Alright, does Grog have any kind of... He's got Spark Cracker. Well, distracted is not going to help me. Chance to reflect against spells? Oh, yeah, why didn't I drink that to begin with? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Heal! Out of my way. Got it. He's got that death ray on me. I'll take care of this. Don't put I'm down. In it. Great. Yeah! Yes! Alright, now we just gotta do the wrap up. Go for the eyes, come on, come on. There we go. All right. This would be so much. All right, so we're doing this. I'm gonna need a bigger weapon. Come on. I always hit my mark. Oh boy! Oh boy! As the last of Fionlich's essence dissipates, the Oracle's massive eye, clouded with blood, swivels to focus on you. Its pupil seems as an inky abyss. Pain radiates from it, almost knocking you from your feet. Interloper, your presence blights. You disease. Its thoughts shudder, twisting the air around you, crashing across your mind. Interloper. One of the tentacles reaches weakly for you, before falling limply at your feet. I freed you from Fion. Stand down. Give up. I'll grant you clemency. 
Surely it's not too late to come to an understanding. We have much to offer one another. Time to end this or shake your head. You're finished. Uh... I freed you. Stand down. You succeed. Only in prolonging your own suffering. Your ignorance. Purify everything in its place. The creature's tentacles flex, and you sense essence flowing between it and the musculature around you. But then, you sense something else. Something deep within the thing's eye. Something that absorbs all light, all life, all knowledge and understanding. That absorbs you. The moist. Oh, come on! You heard her start to say it, right? The game just did a hiccup. And now I've got to read it. Ah, the moist, fetid air within the heart washes away, sucked from the room as if pumped out. With it goes all light and sound, and you find yourself floating alone in the darkening void. Oh, hello. We didn't see you there. Like stars across the night sky. The darkness splits into a hundred hundred eyes of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Wow. We recognize you, Barrett's Herald, if we're not mistaken. Their voice echoes around you, blanketing you. What do you want, Wall? Yes, that's me. You know exactly who I am. Nope. Got the wrong guy. You know exactly who I am. Oh, you. As delightful as ever. It's strange, though. We find that we were just not thinking about you for the first time in, well, in some time. The eyes pry at you. Their gaze is clinging to your skin. Where exactly might you be? I uncovered your titan. I had to pursue a wizard named Fanlek into it. I seem to be inside your flesh body, in the basement of your library, buried under your dead island. Which is about standard. I'm inside you. Deep inside you. Don't play stupid. You know precisely where I am. Um, I'll do the top one. I pursued the wizard. Oh, that does not seem at all correct. We are quite certain. Or fairly certain, at least. Moderately certain, certainly, that we killed our terrestrial body just as we promised we would. Not that we're above the occasional bent truth. But we don't recall not killing our body, and that really seems the sort of thing that we'd remember. Uh, let's see. Apparently you remember wrong or something from the first game. Do you remember that time you asked me to hide that scroll from your followers? So that they'd have to look for it harder. Uh, let's see. There are eyes on everything down here, Wall. Except the people you took eyes from. Do you remember burying a facility full of lies and kith experiments on an abandoned island in the Deadfire? What you've done here, the changes you've made to these people, the information you've hidden or perverted. It's all horrible. Well, let's do the one from Pillars. <laughs> Indeed. Wall's eyes dance happily. We do have fun, don't we, Harold? But we were discussing our body and, and your preposterous claim to lurk within it. We were discussing your faulty memory. You remember bearing a facility... Right, right, right. Uh, let's do number two. Full of righteous indignation. Not in the slightest. Though, it does sound like something we would do. Hmm, we wonder if the Lady of Lament may be having a spot of fun with us. Who's that? Goddess of Oceans. Ah. The eyes spin together, orbiting one another in a languid cyclone. We didn't think the old fish had it in her. Do you really think Andra could be so responsible? Oh, could be responsible. I've seen no indication of Andra's influence in the Halls Obscured. Seems like the kind of thing she'd do, doesn't it? Try to stay focused, Wall. 
I've seen no indication of her influence here. Absence of evidence provides no evidence of absence. No, this hardly seems her style. We suspect she'd have simply sent this place to the bottom of the sea. The eyes shiver into more or less stationary positions, their attention refocusing on you. Perhaps, though, no, surely not. But what if... Well, it certainly would delight us. Yes? Get on with it! Stare pointedly. I'm gonna stare pointedly. Perhaps, dear Harold, we hid our body from ourselves. Wall laughs at their revelation, eyes dancing excitedly. How terribly perverse of us. <laughs> and thoroughly irresponsible. When we hide something from ourselves, we hide it from the world. The world forgets about it. It forgets about itself. The eyes snap into place, utterly still. Every facet and pupil directed at you. And how are you feeling, dear Harold of Barris? I've not forgotten myself, if that's what you're asking. I feel... sticky. I kind of like it inside you. I was thinking of settling down here. Maybe... opening a tavern. It's none of your business. I'm getting a bit tired of this. Uh... I've not forgotten myself, if that's what you're asking. But now we're left with a conundrum. What to do? Hmm, what to do with this overgrown sack of me? Okay. Your body has already wrecked one island. Put it back to sleep before it destroys anything else. Let your body die as the rest of the gods did. Mara wanted to turn your body against Aethys. Would you be willing to do battle with the Dawn Stars? Have you met my friend Consulhot? He's in need of a body. That is a tremendously awful idea. But we can ask him about fighting against Aethys. And expose our inscrutable quintessence to that zealot's light? No, we should almost certainly take the old beast behind the metaphorical shed and kill it, obviously. We did agree, after all. We wouldn't want Wodica to turn all... Wodica. <laughs> Again. The deity's hundred eyes stare blankly ahead, glistening with moisture, as if on the verge of tears. Hmm. Okay. And that was a skill, huh? Well, I don't have any arcana, and my intimidate doesn't... And I'm not a crystal wall. Actually... I made Pike a priest of war. See, that bothers me, that my companions don't contribute. It's just me or nothing. Whatever. You should really use the body to help us with the Aethys problem. What? You were just going to do whatever you wanted to do regardless? Fine, I'm returning to the here. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to press about the Aethys thing. A hundred hundred eyes examine you. Oh, should we? Why ever so? Maybe I can convince him to help me in the final fight. You think I'm going to be able to stop him? He's 500 feet tall and made of Audra. What is this? Priest? Religion. Well, I wasn't going to hit that. Or metaphysics. Yeah. It'll probably be fine to have Kith crawling all over Ukaizo, poking through the secrets of the ages. The various unmentionables of Angwith, you know. So he doesn't, oh, uh, I don't know, destroy the world, you included? Um. Yeah, let's do number four. Appeal to his, I don't know, godhood about secrets. Uh, sure, number four. Ugh, such filth, defiling our safe little secrets. There we go, that's what I was aiming for. Don't think we don't know what you're doing, Harold. And don't think we don't appreciate it. We admit ourselves convinced. The oracle through whom you commune with us serves as the body's brain, so to speak. Slay it when you return, and all will unfold as you dictated. Wild's eyes close and are gone. Your stomach lurches as the ground disappears from under you. 
and with a sensation like a pop somewhere deep within the recesses of your mind, you plummet back into your physical body. The air cloys at your skin, humid and warm. We did it. We did it. We did it! The oracle blinks at you as if trying to brush sleep from many eyes. The previous waves of pain seem to have subsided. You open your hand to find yourself grasping a warm, pulsing shard of metal. A memento from wall, it seems. You communed with the obscured. I did. Tell the oracle, I'm sorry, but you have to die. It's the only way. Or kill it. Your favorite god gave me the go-ahead to chop you into pieces, eyeball. Kill it without warning, or we're leaving now. Um, I'm going to do number two. Liar! You bring your weapon down upon the oracle, crushing its carapace beneath your blows. I thought... I don't know what I thought. I, I mean... I didn't want to kill it without warning, that's a little cruel, but, um, I did it. Wall will join us against Aeothis. Ring? Okay, I'll look at that in a bit. Um, Elementalist Bracers, I'll look at those later. Scroll of Twin Stones. Potion, potion, potion. Alright. Um, anything else in here? Let's highlight everybody. Any and save. All right. Anything else in here before we leave? What is this supposed to be? I can interact with it, so it's got to be something. You know what? Grog is doesn't have that problem. What did I get? Some experience. Return the heart. Search the heart of mystery. Return the god seed. God seed. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Pop it, no. Anything else? No, I think the God Seed was it. All right, let's head out then. I'm gonna, yeah, let's head out. Looks like Vex leveled up, but I'll wait on that one. Oh God. Well, I'm going to need a bath. You're, you're back! And a bit more alive than I anticipated. Tane looks you over and chooses thumbnail. You've got some gore on you. It's just awful. That really, Aaron, let me help. Tane starts brushing ropey strips of wall stuff off your shoulders. He pauses to gag softly. How do you think I feel? I'm fine, Tane. If you ever get a chance to explore one of those things, I cannot recommend it enough. The next time a god asks you to unclog a bowel obstruction, tell them I'm busy. Let's go with that one. Welcome back. You've returned in one piece. Another earthquake? Tane and Lindgrath cover their ears as a familiar cacophony of voices bombard the scriptorium, seeming to come from every direction at once. Oh, hello, arch-wizards. <laughs> By which we mean farewell. As soon as we extricate ourselves from this horrid little rock. Why in our own name would we spread our tentacles throughout this whole complex? After the assault of Wall's voice echoes into oblivion, Lengrath lowers her shaking hands and regards you with wide-eyed disbelief. Better you had died in the Titan's guts than stand before me having done what you've done. The bitter chill of her suppressed rage drops the temperature around you by several degrees. Far beneath your feet, the earth shakes. The titan stirs. You've put all of Aeora at risk. And for what? Power? Amusement? The regard of one senseless archmage? May the suffering born from this short-sighted choice stain your soul. Lengrath clenches shaking fists and storms a few feet away. You know, you might have voiced an objection earlier if you felt this strongly about it. Tane squints at Lengrath, shrugging. It feels good to have a titan on our side, and such a handsome one at that. Finally, it's an even playing field, and Aeothis isn't the only power in these seas. Aeothis has competition. That's what's important. 
Now the powers of the dead fire have two reasons to work together. May the living nightmare of Wall shroud these islands in terror. Why would I... Whatever. If I was playing an evil character, I guess. I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm gonna go with the top one, Aeothis S competition. We've stolen the advantage. Aeothis would be smart to watch his step. Last I heard, his new Audra body doesn't have any tentacles. It's still made of Audra, though. What do you plan to do next? Lengrath raises herself to her full height, taking on a slightly more officious air. Dang, did I not admit? Ah, uh, of course. All right. Aeothis is still out there. I need answers, maybe even vengeance. I've got a whole archipelago to explore. The horizon calls. What gave you the impression I ever plan ahead? Something will come along. Nothing, for once. Mmm. Aeothis is still out there and I need answers. I pray you'll take a rest from inflicting yourself upon those who request your help. As I foolishly did. Oh, wah, wah. Baby wants her bottle. If I see you in the next life, it will be too soon. Goodbye. Lengrath turns away without another word. Yeah, don't let the door hit you on the way out. What a baby. Thanks for circling back, Watcher. Glad we get this little, uh, moment to ourselves. <laughs> Tane clears his throat and shifts his weight from foot to foot. Thanks to you, Wal is up and walking. Now the world gets to be a little stranger for having a big pile of limbs and eyeballs out there just wandering the wild. You did good out there. Hope you realize that. Ah, look at me getting all sentimental again. You need anything from your friend Tane, you just ask. He winks and nudges you with his shoulder. Give him the God Seed? Uh, I don't... No, no, I'm not going to give it... Lengrath might be mad at me for reviving Wall's body, but I think the God Seed would be better in her hands. Or not. Okay, what about Picarna? So, do I look like an archmage yet? Picarna strikes a pose and cocks her head. We're wearing a silly grin. It might take a little time still. I should find some better robes. A nice, tall hat, maybe. She shrugs. All right, well, no to that. All right, Tane. I didn't want to do this. Hey, hey, look who it is. Here, Tane, you earn this. Huh. Still warm. Have I got plans for you, my friend? He knocks gently on the surface of the god seed before holding it up to his ear. The only question is where to plant the little one. The living lands? The ruins of Cadnua? I had Ceres could use a new god. Do not plant this in the ruins of my home. He holds the god seed aloft like a proud father with a newborn. Uncertainty, that's the beauty of it. Enjoy your flesh garden, or what it is, or it is you're gonna want to grow. Keep the device. I can't let you have this. It's too powerful to fall into the Archmage's hands. I don't know what it does. I should have looked at it, I guess. I should have looked at it. Whatever. Uh, enjoy your flesh garden. You've earned this. Here, open it. Cain reaches into the depths of his robes and retrieves a locket on a long chain, which he lowers into your palm. God seed manuscript. Ah, I should have read the. Dang it! I should have read the dang thing. Uh, let's see. Judging from the quality of the metalwork, this locket is indistinguishable from any other piece hanging. All right, blah 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 blah. To the left is a rough portrait of Tane. On the right is a. To Targris, my best friend. Oh, how nice. Great small orbs of pure chaos. When thrown, the orbs bounce between enemies. That sounds like something that I want to give to Gilmore. Thank you, Tane. I'll wear it always. Ooh, shiny. What are we, lovers? You think I need a keepsake of our time together? I don't want this at all. Take it back. Thank you, Tane. I'll, I'll wear it always. You're a good friend. You deserve something nice. Tane winks and bites his tongue, mirroring the picture in the locket. All right. Well, that sucks. I should have read the manuscript. Now I'm going to have to go back and do it on my own time. Tane's gratitude, weight of revelation? Did I not put this? Um. Oh, every time a party member's knocked out. Right. What am I using now? 
Oh, I'd have to replace the Grimoire. Do I want to do that? Not really. Um, well... Who else could make good use of it? That actually saved us. I'm pretty sure that saved our lives. Uh, I'll hold on to it. Keyleth can wear it or something. Alright, so what about this ring? 10% chance on scoring hit with a weapon to apply a random tier 1 affliction. 10% chance to receive a random tier 1 inspiration. Uh, tier 1s though? I mean, I can cast spells that do that. I don't, I don't need that. What about this? Plus 2 shock armor, jolting touch. Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. Um, all right. Well, I think I'll end it here. Uh, thank you everyone for joining me until next time. Stay safe and God bless you.